Today we're going to try and cross near something that stops us seeing the road. This car. We can't see the road to the right today. It's not very good. What about the road to the left? That's much better. We can see both sides. Coming down to a child's eye view will give you the opportunity to see what they can see. Have a little discussion. Ask them what they can and can't see and what we need to do about it. By looking both ways, we can't see both sides of the road, so we need to move. By moving away, let's see what we can see now. Look to the right, look to the left. Let's see what we can see. That's much better. We can see lots more of the road and we haven't really moved away that far from the parked car. On the left, we can still see both sides of the road much better. So if nothing is coming, we're going to look to our right and our left and our right once more and we're going to cross the road, making sure that we look and we listen for traffic the whole time till we get to the other side. When we go to cross the road, it's important that we carry out a few basic checks before we cross over. We need to make sure our feet are behind the kerb. We need to make sure that when we look right and left, that there's nothing blocking our view and we need to listen. So we're going to put our feet behind the kerb. We're going to look right, left, right and listen. When it's safe to cross, we can cross. is because cars travel on the left-hand side of the road so they are actually closest to us so that's why we check there twice okay. it's also important that when we do cross the road we don't run across the road okay we make sure that we walk and we do advise adults if they're crossing with younger children that they hold their hands while crossing and wherever possible always walk in a straight line and not in a diagonal line so you can get to the other side as safely as possible Okay, so we're going to take 
down two steps. And an easy way to remember this is a little rhyme that says one, two, stick like glue. So, are you ready? So, one, two, stick like glue. And now, we want to stay in line with the tyres, and when we look right and we look left, we can see clearly what's coming. So we'll do our checks. So we're going to look right, left, right, listen. Are we safe to cross? We are going to show you how to cross at a zebra crossing. We place our feet firmly behind the curb line. Then we look to our right to make sure we can see the road. Then the second place we look is to the left. This will be on the other side of the road and we need to make sure we can see that one as well. We always look right and left to make sure there are no cars approaching the zebra crossing. If there's nothing coming, we're able to cross over, looking right and left as we cross. We must make sure that we place our feet firmly behind the curb line. Then we must look to our right, then our left, and then our right once more. If something comes, we wait for it to stop. Once it's stopped, we can cross the road safely to the other side. We've already covered in our videos finding a safe place to cross the road and crossing between two parked cars. However, we always advise, if you can, and you have either some lights or a zebra crossing, or if you're lucky enough outside your school to have a lollipop man or a lollipop lady, always use one of these crossings to cross the road. Okay, so we're on a busy road now, and we have a crossing, a pedestrian crossing, that has lights. And we're gonna show you how you can safely cross the road at these lights. We're going to press the button and we're going to wait for the green man. Once we've the green man has arrived, we are then going to do our checks. Only then are we going to cross. Okay, it's important that as soon as that green man comes, we don't just walk straight across the road because not all cars unfortunately will stop. Okay. Okay, so we're going to look for the green man. Right, left, right, listen, all the cars have stopped and we keep looking as we cross the road. 